Welcome back to Godhood. When we left off, we did an amazing job of actually recruiting Kipax Lee, who is a fantastic chieftain, and hopefully we will see him grow into an even better one as we go forward. So if you'd like to check out the game, by the way, it has just entered early access, of course, and if you'd like to check it out, there is a link in the description. And otherwise, we're going to go on to the next season and uh, we have Alem and Zuma getting some offerings here, and we have Ansi doing doing what well what they do best, and that is, you know, praying at the uh, at the fire here, which is very nice. All right, so I think we're basically ready to go and uh, go and attack some people. I think we can probably go and attack some people. We'll probably do all right. Let's go down here. All of our guys are doing pretty well. I'm actually going to put all these guys in instead of ANSI this time around, because we haven't really done that that much. ANSI is usually always included in these attacks, and I thought, you know what, let's do something a little bit different this time around, and we'll see how it goes. Now, I'm very much hoping that they're going to be able to stay alive, but obviously, you know, it's not uh, its not up to me. It's an auto-battler. It is not up to me. So they're just going to use all of their skills, and we'll see how it plays out. I'm actually really enjoying that whole that whole deal. I like the whole auto battler thing because it makes it feel as though the choices you make back at camp actually do make a bit of a, a bit of an impact in the actual combat and I like that the AI themselves are actually choosing what they do. And Kipax Lee, as you could see right there, was absolutely insane. He did so much damage, and Zuma has now charged their miracle, which is great, because that means I will be able to go over there, and we can uh, we can hopefully uh, level, uh, level up a little bit. So Zuma is obviously over here. Our initiation is fine as well. And let's have a look. Okay, so Zuma is probably going to want to get inspired. So we're going to need to do Inspire Miracle. Uh, there we go. All right, so Zuma is a guardian. So I'm thinking that Might is going to be good. But obviously I'm not entirely sure about that. So uh, maybe, maybe it would be okay. I don't really know. Let's actually just take a quick look. Yeah, it seems like might is definitely the way to go. So I'm I'm pretty happy with doing that. And we we might unlock the next ability, which is going to be really nice to do because that that means that well they'll be even more effective. So let's you know put Zuma over there to the farm, and then we'll tell the rest to go off and do whatever it is they want to do. And we'll just collect some more offerings here as well, because obviously we do need offerings to be able to do those miracles in the first place. And I believe that is indeed it. So let us continue our season here. And we have now entered year five. I wonder what's going to happen. Okay, so Zuma performed a rain dance all night to please Reformist and bring water from the skies. Reformist listened to this humble plea. The rain was plentiful and saved the harvest. Ah, so Zuma did a fantastic job right there. And as a result... Gained the Wondrous Farm Miracle. Miracle! <laughs> yes. Increases a disciple's power and grants a chance of learning new abilities. And has gained the same ability. <laughs> well, I guess that's fine. And uh, we also do get an opportunity to increase our might or health. I think I'm actually going to go for health here for Zuma. Because generally Zuma is the one to step in front of the others and take damage as a result. So yeah, getting getting more health is going to make a big difference there, at least in my opinion. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to do as, as we've been doing and basically just getting our guys to get some offerings, to pray at the fire, and uh, just in general healing ourselves up as well so that we can potentially go and take over another area. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to try and get some more experience. Ah, it seems like these guys are, uh, it seems like I'm not getting these guys converted for whatever reason. So yeah, we're obviously going to attempt eventually to get over here. Obviously I need to be spiritual circle, in other words, level three god to be able to do that. And you know what? Whoa, 10 reformers right there? 10 reformers? Hmm, you know what? 
Let's go, let's go to this one. All right, so these guys, uh, they might be a bit difficult, but I think we should be fine. I mean, I think I feel like Capacity is super powerful. Is that just me? I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, let's uh, let's get Alim in there. I assume that Alim is probably going to level up in this particular attack. And whoa, you can see that we are both the same in terms of HP totals. So we might have some difficulties here. Who knows? We'll see if that is indeed the case. Obviously, Zuma is in the middle, which is great because that means that they're going to be able to uh, basically dodge, block, whatever may come our way, which is really nice. And we'll see how it goes. I feel like Alim really needs to be advanced in might or something along those lines. Yeah, there you go. Zuma is getting attacked right there, blocking all of the damage. I'm really happy that Zuma became a guardian, actually, because without that ability to block all that damage, look at that, healing as well, being healed. And, uh, and and getting getting the healing is really very very useful. So I'm very pleased that I actually did gain that extra HP as well. That is really making a huge difference. And look at this healing again. Wow, we've got a really really nice combination right there. I think that is a pretty cool combination. Even though we did take quite a bit of damage in total. I think we did a pretty decent job of keeping our guys alive because obviously if one of them dies I, I don't exactly know what happens but I suppose we'll find out as we continue onward and our god has now leveled up there we go we are now level three as the reformers flocked together the reform grew into a spiritual circle and we now have inspire fanatic grounds inspire construction of a fanatic grounds find the most fervent worshippers to induct as fanatics and we also have our worshipper support limit increased to 25 which is very nice to say because then i can get a new recruit perhaps all right several reformers felt so close to reformers that they wished to serve him more actively and see reason they could be trained to become ardent fanatics. Fanatics may be sent to rituals to increase their effectiveness. These fanatics will improve our rituals. All right. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what's going on with that. Okay, so I can place that basically anywhere. I really love the fact that you can create your own village and basically make it in any shape you want. You can basically put it anywhere. You know, you could put, you could put it all the way over here if you wanted to, which would be, well, a little bit disjointed, but... You could do it if you wanted to. Anyway, let's place that right there. And uh, wow, I'm actually looking forward to seeing what actually happens here. So I can't do anything with that right now. So let's actually just take a look at Alem for a second. Alem is a cunning user. Ah, interesting, interesting. Okay, so that is pretty good for me because that means... Hmm. Yeah, that is actually really nice, because that means that I can send Alim over to the Eloquent Peddler, which increases cunning and knowledge, and we will definitely do that. There we go. All right, so let's send Ansi over to collect some fanatics, and we'll send, uh, we'll send Zuma over to... Um, I think we've got enough offerings at the moment, so we'll do just the plus 10 faith, I suppose. Because that will give us a little bit of extra experience for our god as well, which is always wonderful. And uh, then we will continue to the next season. I think you can only, yeah, I think I still can only do three um, worshippers at each particular miracle site. But uh, maybe I'll try that in just a second. Alim wheeled and dealed goods on the marketplace with impeccable skill. Fellow stall keepers looked on in awe as Alan talked some Kolal cab traders into a hugely favorable deal. Truly, Alan spoke as reformers would. There we go. A good amount of offerings. How much? Five, by the looks of things. All right. So there you go. Increases uh, disciples' powers. And we gained Blind Strike, which deals he heavy random damage to a random opponent, by the looks of things. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. Unfortunately, it does have a minus 20% chance to hit. But, well, we'll see how that goes. And we get some HP or some more might. I think we'll just go for some more might. And we'll see what happens with that. All right, that seems pretty good to me. All right, so Ansi, you're just going to go and collect some more fanatics. Why not? Let's get Alem to go and pray. And we will take Zuma over to collect some offerings, I suppose. And we'll try and put someone else on something else. No, you can't inspire more than three disciples at once. So that is still very much a thing. Anyway, let's go on to the next 
season here, and then we will probably be heading in to um, maybe another battle or something along those lines. I'm not entirely sure what... Ah, fanatics are used to... Ah, they, okay, they're spent to upgrade rituals. Okay, so basically what I can do is I can upgrade this. Ah, there you go. We're going to need a whole bunch. We're going to need 65 of these guys. So... That's, yeah, that's, that's probably quite, uh, quite significant, shall we say. All right, well, uh, can I upgrade this? Uh, it's going to require 50, which is a little bit better, but it's going to take us quite a bit of time to actually get there. So let's actually just take a quick look and see where, ooh, a rare relic can be created here. This is going to be a difficult fight for us, but maybe we can do it. Do you think we can do it? Mm, I'm a bit. Uh, you know what? Let's let's go and let's just go and level up compactly here, because he's going to level up relatively soon, and we'll just put Zuma and all that stuff in there as well. Because here's the thing: I'm a bit worried about tackling these higher tier enemies because they're going to have more HP than us. That one that you just saw, you know, the one with the five next to it. They're going to probably have 50 HP instead of 30, which is what these guys have. So I'm just going to use these guys to level up a little bit because they're pretty easy for us to eliminate. Or at least I think they should be pretty easy. Ansi is doing so much damage. Let's actually see what happens here. Uh, yes, Zuma. Oh, doing the business right there. Being able to dodge and indeed block for our other unit is a fantastic thing indeed. So, and, and then heal up, look at that. We can basically not lose any of our units because Zuma is a part of the of the combat scenario. It's fantastic. Very, very good indeed. And Kapakli has indeed advanced, which is great. Because that means we can send him over to the farm and then he can do even more damage because we can basically get him some more charisma, we can get him some more might. And uh, because of that upgrade, that we have in the farm, it does even more because we can get him some more uh, charisma as a result. So that's really, really cool. Okay, so we're going to send him over to the farm miracle. It's going to cost us some offerings and things like that. So we'll send Zuma over there. And Ansi will go and collect some more fanatics, I suppose. And then we will continue onward. I'm actually wondering whether we're, we're capable of being attacked. Do you think we're capable of being attacked? I'm not entirely sure. There we go. The yields were ripe and delicious, a true godsend. Now, well, there we go. Now, let's see what he's going to get. Intimidate deals morale damage with both might and charisma. Now, that is really nice. So, we can also teach a passive. So, we can either get charisma or might. I think I'm probably going to go for charisma here because most of our other characters are might-based. And I think it might be kind of fun to see... If we can get, yeah, as you can see, so he's got 13 anyway, so I think that's really nice. His faith is really good as well. Well, not that good, but it could be better. And let's actually just take a look at our other guys here. Mm-hmm, okay. Yeah, we're going to need to do something with Alim here. I think Alim probably does need to go and maybe pray a little bit more. I'm, I'm not entirely sure whether that really makes a huge difference. But... We'll do it nevertheless, and we'll just see whether that makes uh, makes him little happier, I suppose you could say. So we'll see what happens there. All right. So next season, we'll see if we can get some more fanatics and things like that. How many are we getting there? Hmm, we got nine. That's pretty good. All right. Yeah, worked passionately. Passionately. There we go. Alim is now happy. That's great. Okay. I'm very, very pleased to see that. Okay, so let's go to the world map once again. So it seems like this this area down here is not getting cleared out or claimed, shall we say. So that seems to be a place where we can basically get free XP for our units anytime we desire it, which is pretty good. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the next area and see if we can maybe uncover a, a couple more encounters. Not the rare relic one just yet. I, I do want to go for the rare relic one, but I think I'd like to maybe level up a couple of our forces a little bit more before we actually go over there. I really love the fact that Zuma can heal. It is a fantastic boon for us to be able to do that because even though we lose our max total HP, we lost we lost nine as a result of that. But whoa, look at Kapakli doing so much damage. What a crazy guy. What a crazy guy. Uh, yeah, anyway, the point is, is that Zuma can basically 
take damage and then heal and they're never going to be out of the battle. They're never going to be out of the battle because they're always going to heal themselves. Even, even so, we still obviously lose our max total HP, which is going to eventually result in a defeat if, you know, if we allow that to happen. But hopefully we won't allow it to happen. So let's just continue to send our people to these various places and we'll do that. There we go. I'm actually wondering whether I can send multiple people to the same miracle. I think I probably can. Can I do that? Let's actually just try and see whether I can do that. Yes, it seems like I can. Oh, very good. Okay, I'm going to continue getting offerings and things like that as well, because obviously that's always a good thing. Let's see what happens. Wow. Yeah, we got we got all of that. Wow. That is actually kind of amazing. I really I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. So that is really really good. That means that I will now be able to upgrade something. I can upgrade the stockpile or I can upgrade this, but that's that's going to need another 6 fanatics, which I suppose we will do. I'm just going to get a whole bunch more. I feel like the upgrades are going to be super important for us. So we're just going to go and get a whole bunch of fanatics. And we're going to then upgrade our fanatic temple to be able to, well, get more fanatics. That's basically what I'd like to try and do there. So we now have 80. So I guess we'll just do test of faith one. There we go. And then, well... That's, uh, that's pretty good. So now we have even more fanatics, which is fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take Zuma and put him on the faith right there. And then we'll just collect the fanatics from there as well. And uh, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to recruiting a new unit as well as time goes on. There we go. Wow, that was a lot of a lot of fanatics right there. Very nice. Okay, so Alim is now not really too happy. So we're going to put him over there. There we go. Okay, so we're in year 9 now. I think we should still be pretty decent. And there we go. We now have 69. Ooh, what is this? We can summon some initiates. Okay, so there we go. We have now gathered a bunch of recruits. And hopefully we will get someone that is going to be a little bit more useful than Alim. No offense. <laughs> Let's see. Reveal all. Ooh, okay. Hello, hello. Yzma? Yzma? Yes. Kronk? Kronk? Yeah, yeah, okay. I went there. Alright, so yes, anyway. Bloodline of the Prophet. Isma was taught to believe firmly by her family. Wow, that's pretty fantastic. I would like to take Isma if at all possible. I don't have enough. Oh, you know, that is so sad. I do not have enough. Hmm. Uh, you know, that's really, really sad because I would love to be able to... Maybe I should just... I don't really want to get rid of Alim because they've been here with us for the entirety of the time. Sent to outer regions? This permanently removes Alim from your chosen disciples. Whoa. Okay, we actually do gain a huge amount of rewards for sending him away. And we do then have enough to be able to uh, get Yzma, which I think I'm going to do then. There we go. Yzma is just too good, in my opinion. It's just too good to let go. And I feel bad about this. I feel really bad about it, actually. But the tribe has to advance in some way. Uh, that's what I tell myself. To not feel guilty. But, well, there's not much I could do. Alright, so we have a huge amount of offerings now. And <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what to do with them. I guess we'll just get some more... We'll just upgrade right here and can I upgrade some other stuff wow I can actually upgrade this too oh that is amazing okay so we're gonna have to do that as well so let's get Zuma over here there we go oh wow these fanatics are fantastic they really make every single building so much better wow I am really surprised okay so farmland is great so we probably want to upgrade that there we go and let's go to the world map. Why not? Let's go to the world map and see what's actually going on here. Ooh, okay, hello. Ah, and so now it is kind of forcing me to make a decision here. And I'm not entirely sure what we're going to be doing. Because I can either go up here and tackle the ancestors. 
or I can go over here and deal with the Bountiful Laloc or whatever, whatever they're called, or I could go to the Unguided. I suppose I will go to the Unguided for the moment, and we will put Yzma in there with Ansi and Zuma and see how it goes. I'm a bit worried about this, actually. I've never lost a battle yet, and I hope that that will not change in this one, but we'll see. All right, so obviously because Zuma is a fantastic guard for us, we don't really have to worry about Yzma dying. At least I hope not. Oh, two damage? That was that was it? Just two damage? Okay. Well, do bear in mind that I think that Yzma is inexperienced. Whoa, they do no damage. Zuma is such a beast that they do no damage. Yeah, so as you can see, Yzma is nervous, and as a result, probably will not be acting most of the time, which is absolutely fine. No problem at all there. Thankfully, Zuma is, whoa, an absolute beast, so much so that they just evaded. Look at that. <laughs> wow, that is really, really crazy. And there you go. Ansi doing, doing her thing, just absolutely murdering everyone in the area, and we have now dominated them. There we go. And Yzma has now advanced and we can now unlock her class, which is going to be what? What do we want to do? Well, let's have a look. So, she's really good with might and devotion by the looks of things. So, might and devotion, smite sword. That's, that's, that's the default class that we apparently have here. So, I think that's probably going to be the best thing that we will go for here. That seems to be good at the very least. So why not? Let's uh, let's do something like this. And I think that is I think that is good. Yeah, I think that is good. And uh, do oh, do we want to do something else? I don't think we really need to do anything else because might and devotion is basically perfect. Devotion charisma, zealot? No. I don't think so personally. I think we'll just go for the smite sword. Sounds like a good plan to me. And uh, yeah, let's do it. There we go. So now she has her miracle charge. And that means that I can go over and uh, see what uh, see what that is. And I can also hopefully build a new structure as well to hopefully improve devotion. So that when she does level up, I can actually improve that within her and make her even better. Which would be nice. But we also have a rare relic here. Don't know how good the rare relic is. Okay, so we can bless the rare relic. I guess because Yzma is our new person, we're going to bless the divine relic. Chances on divine relics. Okay, sure. Let's do that. Okay, what is this? Yzma's Amulet of Purity. Excommunicate the weird. Okay, chance to follow up whenever an enemy uses a weird ability. Trigger, rarely. Small chance to trigger scaling with disciples' faith. Right, you can assign this relic to a disciple in your holy city. Okay, so that, that, that I think that will probably go on her, to be honest. Okay, so this is going to go on her. So I am going to speak to her, and there's the relic. And bind relics carefully. It will cost 30 offerings to unbind a relic from this slot later. I actually don't mind that. I think that's absolutely fine. And I mean, look at that. It's a rare chance, so I don't really mind it too much. And we've got Devotion right there. I don't think I can actually build anything, but Might is pretty good for her, I think, as well. So we'll probably send her to go to the farm, which is not something I really badly want to do. But it does increase Might, and I think that's basically the best I can do right now. So I suppose we will just do that, and then we will send the rest of our guys to just collect fanatics because they are going to be used to upgrade our, our people even more and I am actually going to need to upgrade the farmlands more because uh, this is actually going to give us plus one might too so it's going to make our, our people even stronger which is just crazy crazy good so we'll see how that goes and there we go terrible drought performed a rain dance the rain was plentiful and saved the harvest which is great now let's see what kind of ability she's going to gain Let's have a look here. Challenge Heresy. Deal morale damage based on devotion. Also increases chance to block morale attacks. That's fantastic. That is actually really nice. 
All right, so she is currently neutral, so she's gonna go and pray a little bit, and we will just get a whole bunch of extra fanatics. I think I can actually upgrade this now. There we go. So the farmlands are perfectly upgraded. Absolutely crazy upgrades for that. And oh, look at this. We do we have more upgrades? Hmm. It seems like we have gathered all of the upgrades that are currently possible, but that is. Well, that's that's actually indicating that there is more. There's actually more upgrades to get, which I'm very intrigued about indeed. So let's actually have a look here. Uh, this increases knowledge and cunning. I guess it doesn't really matter because there are going to be a couple of people that will be needing to use that quite a bit. So let's just get some more fanatics. And uh, we're, we're probably going to go and fight. We're probably going to go and fight after this. I'm actually really liking our new addition. I feel like Yzma is a fantastic addition for us. And is there anything I can actually do here? It doesn't seem like I can upgrade the Holy Site Center, which is a bit of a, a bit of a shame, to be honest. I think it would have been cool if I could upgrade it, but I don't really mind too much. So there we go. We've upgraded the market now very nicely indeed. And I could place a relic here, but as we've seen... The Charisma Relic over in the farm is just the best. It really is great. So let's pray over there and get some more fanatics. And we're going to just do it one more time and then we'll probably go into a battle after that and see what we can do. I think we can basically make it no problem at all, but I wanted to level up our god because we are just about near to level 4, as you can see. So we now have new god actions to dedicate statue. Construct Miracle Building, and we also have increased our worshipper support to 30, which is really nice, because that means we will be able to recruit another person when and if they arrive. So we can dedicate a statue to war in one of your miracle rituals, which improves all miracles in the ritual with plus one might and plus one cunning. Wow. That's actually kind of crazy. So we could basically put it right here, which would be insane. So let's do this. Okay, so the manifestation of war, which is what? We have, we can choose. We can choose any of these. Well, the manifestation of war, <laughs> uh, it says skull of war. Oh, okay. Cat of war, bird of war, goldfish, goldfish of war, heart of war. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, can I find something rather amusing dog of war there we go okay we're gonna go we're gonna go with dog of war sounds like sounds like something that we would probably want to do and now we can select a miracle building so we probably want to select something that is going to increase knowledge the meditation site seems to do that mm, yeah. prayer miracle which enhances the decide point raises devotion increasing your defenses increasing your chance to get lucky with morale attacks Raises health and devotion, increasing disciples' defenses. Hmm, that might actually be better. So we're going to go for the tavern. Let's put it all the way over there. All right, so now, hopefully next time we level up one of our guys, uh, well, more specifically Yzma, she will be able to go into the tavern and have a grand old time and be able to level up her devotion and then, uh, well basically beast everyone you say you are oh, oh no oh oh i did not know that there was an aging system that's crazy okay that's actually really cool they say you are as only as old as you feel well ansi definitely feels very old having reached the ripe old age of 44 ansi will have a little more trouble performing certain tasks from now on Ooh, I see. Okay, well, that is going to be uh, kind of harsh, and I actually just pressed the button without meaning to, but that's okay. That's fine. It is year 12, after all, by the way, so Ansi, I, I think you can kind of assume that she would be starting to grow a little bit older now, which is not very good at all for me, because that means that uh, she's, our most, she's our most powerful, you know? She's our most powerful person. And it's going to be super sad. Well, if and when she dies, I think she's probably going to die relatively soon. Then, by the by, the look of that that message, which is really bad. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we have rainmakers that are using nature's ble blessing, nature's defiance. They're using a lot of defense. Well, this is going to be interesting. 
Okay. Well, they don't seem to have too much defense. Oh, okay. So Yzma is apparently ineffective against these enemies, which is not good. And, oh, wow. Apparently they are effective against her as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Ah. Uh, hmm. Probably a good idea for me to select a different character when fighting these guys. That's for sure. But... We have, <laughs> we have achieved victory against all odds by the looks of things. All right, so Zuma did actually level up as well. Zuma is fantastic, as I have gone on about in this entire episode. Just Zuma, Zuma, Zuma. But yeah, it's true. I mean, you know, so much defense. Anyway, I think that will probably be it for this episode. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. And otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.